uh, Prasad Bidava, isn't this kind of discourse unfortunate? I mean, this is this is one of the reasons why you're seeing what you're seeing, isn't it? Prasad Bidava, you're very right, Rishika. I think that this kind of unseemly has to stop, and I think that the time for action has come. And even the chief minister should not be trying to blame anybody. He should be taking some action and getting stuff done. I mean, there are jokes doing the round about Bangalore all the time, saying Google Maps needs to create a new map for the potholes of Bangalore's roads, whether it's our roads or our lakes or the breaching of the lakes, everything. It's always a problem. What's so difficult about taking things under control and getting things done? I travel all over this country. I go to the other states where the roads are beautiful. There are no problems like this facing our daily existence. What kind of a quality of life is this in Bangalore? How do we deal with this? Whom do we go to? We can't go to a chief minister who says that it was somebody else's fault. We are not saying it's your fault, Mr. Chief Minister. All we are asking is start taking some action. And if the BBMP is an Augean stable that needs to be cleaned, so start cleaning it. It's time to get things done. Why not put a group of concerned citizens together? We've got wonderful people in Bangalore like Mr. Narayan Murthy, his wife, Mrs. Sudha Murthy. We have Kiran Majumdar. We have Mohandas Pai. We have people with ideas, people who can get things done like they have in their own companies. Why not take the citizens' help? Why not get everyone to pull together and do something to fix the state? Mm. I can't believe that this is our beloved Bangalore, mm. a state and city that contributes so much to the national exporter, and this is the treatment we get. Yes. It is not acceptable. Which is exactly, which is exactly the point that Anjali Saini also made specifically talking about some of these areas.